YouTube, what is going on? It is your boy Brutal Tops, and we are in season six, baby, of Apex Legends. And we got gold four last night. I was demoted down to silver two at the restart of the season, making my way back up. I hit plat last season, if you didn't know, if you weren't aware. Anyways, I wanted to make this quick video to explain some tips that I think you can use if you're stuck in silver and are trying to get to gold. There's some very simple things that I think will really help you just get out of there really quickly. Before I go over those, please make sure to hit that subscribe button because as soon as I get into platinum, I'm going to be making another video on how to go from gold to platinum. So I think with every rank up into a different division, the players play completely differently and there's different things that you have to pay attention to and uh, know for the lobbies because people play differently in different lobbies. Right, so let's get into the first tip. I wanted to talk about a few different weapons in the game and what you should be using and picking up for and looking for. Um, so right now, to me, the number one weapon in this game is this devotion. You can pick this up on the ground. Uh, it's a ground drop. Sometimes it's in the crafting bin, so it won't be on the ground drop, but then you can just go craft it. Um, and this gun is just insanely strong. So right now, I have it fully kitted out. You can get a purple mag with it. Uh, the barrel, golden barrel stabilizer, the turbocharger, and a stock. But just blank, without anything, this gun is still insanely good. Um, if you just see, I mean, it just kills so fast. Like, that's so, so fast. And we had 55 bullets at the beginning of that, So, and I missed a couple. Um, so, And you have 33 left. So you can almost kill two more people uh, with this full purple mag. And it's super, super quick. You can just keep killing people. I've killed teams of three with it um, and fought them all by myself. So it's a really, really strong weapon. I would not be surprised if it gets nerfed. <clears throat> I would not be surprised if it gets nerfed in the near future. Um, so anyways, just take advantage of it right now as you can. Pick it up every single time. The only problem is finding energy ammo. Energy ammo is super scarce in this game, everybody's using it right now, so make sure you loot really quick. First thing you wanna grab is the energy ammo and use this gun. One thing I forgot to mention about the Devotion 2 is if you're first using it, you haven't really used it before, is that the first couple shots, like you can see, kick up a lot. And that might be weird at first, but the longer you shoot it, then the, the more stable it gets, the more easier it is to control the recoil. So just a side note, just make sure you're aware of the kick at the beginning and then it just kind of evens itself out and then it's easy to control. Might be a little bit weird at first, but trust me, this gun is super OP and it, it just kills super fast. Next gun to follow up uh, is the Volt. This is the new SMG in the game. Kind of like the Devotion, it just melts super quick. Uh, and it's just a really good gun up close for close battles. It's really easy to control the recoil. Um, and yeah, the only kind of downside I would say for it is the clip size. Even with a purple mag, like you can see, it's 26. I think with no mag, it's 19. Um, so that can kind of be a little bit tricky if you're in a big gunfight with multiple different people. But usually it's, it's okay and it's still able to kill quick enough and you're able to reload fast enough to kill the next person. Uh, but this is a really super strong gun. I think it's better than the R99, I would say. It's just a lot easier to control from medium range. So this is really good for medium to up close range. And I've run this combo too together, the Devotion plus the Volt. It's a really good combo. Um, you just got the up close and personal and then you can go and kill someone from range. I mean, look at that, dude. I just did 400 damage in like two seconds. It's really, really good. So anyways, that would be my recommendations for weapons. If you can't find the Devotion or the Volt or you only have one or the other, the other gun I would recommend is the R301. This gun is super accurate, super good, super easy to control, and it still does a lot of damage. You can one-clip people pretty easily. Um, this is a great, great gun. Plus, you got the single fire if you want to like snipe people with no recoil. You can just body them. So yeah. Really good gun overall, hasn't really changed much. I would say the Devotion and Volt, for me personally, are picks over it. Just I think they're just slightly better, but this is still a really good, good pick. Okay, so my next tip has to do with Legends. Who should you be playing? For me personally, I think the strongest by actually quite a bit right now is Bloodhound. He got a huge change in this season uh, where when he goes into his ultimate, 
he can scan every six seconds. So it's basically like a permanent wall hack for you and your team, and you can just hunt and track people for a long time. His ultimate also lasts 40 seconds, and then if you get a kill while you're in your ultimate, it extends your ultimate even longer. So you can be in your ultimate for a really, really, really long time. Uh, so let's go ahead and pop this really quick. And as you can see, I have my ability, and we're just gonna use it. And then we got it again. I don't know if you can see the dummies. There, there we go. So you can see people through walls, and then you got it again. It's up again. Basically, by the time it goes out and you can't see the people anymore, you have another scan up. And this is my third or fourth time doing it, I think. And then this is my fifth time. And then there we have another one. So you have almost six scans within one ultimate. And that was without getting any kills. Every time you get a kill, it's gonna extend the life of your ultimate and just make you that much more OP and able to see people. Um, he also got a buff to his passive. So he's able to scan the recon beacons in the map, which shows you where the next circle is. So not only him, but also Pathfinder and Crypto are able to scan the beacons. Crypto got a change too, where not only can he pick up people's uh, beacons from their boxes when they're down, but then he can also take those to a uh, respawn beacon and drop them off with his drone. And he just has to press it once and then you start spawning. So it's a really, really strong ability. I don't think too many people have used it yet or are using it yet, but I would say he's definitely more of a passive player. So you have to kind of see, I'm more of an aggressive player so bloodhound fits my style because i want to know where everybody is and then once i see him i want to push him and i want to keep track of him crypto is definitely more of a passive player like we want to find out where they are he has to hide with his drone he's going to go pick up his down teammates he's going to respawn them so he's more of like a defensive recon uh person other than that rampart is really good her barricades are really strong and shooting behind them and her minigun and she's really really strong champion Everybody who was normally good is still pretty good. Wraith is still pretty good. Lifeline is pretty good. She has some good utilities. Gibby is good, but the standouts for me are definitely Bloodhound and Crypto. I think having a Recon Legend is really, really helpful, especially in Silver because people aren't rotating as much. And one of the biggest uh, ways to win is to make sure you're always in the circle. So you can hit those Recon Beacons and then go into the circle and always make sure you're in the middle of the circle and rotate super early. And that helps win games because the worst is when you lose a game being trapped into the storm. It is the absolute worst, I hate that. And using these Recon Legends, you're able to go and rotate super early and make sure you're in a good position, get the height so that when people are coming in, you can just shoot them. So Bloodhound is super, super strong. Definitely my favorite legend. He's who I'm playing the most right now. And I think he's probably for solo queue, <clears throat> probably for solo queue, pubs, uh, with a team. He's like really good just because he gives so much information to your team. Um, and then also, I mean, his ultimate is really awesome too because you run super fast, you can track people. So he just all around has a really, really strong kit right now. And I think he's one of the strongest legends in the game. Now my number one tip, and this was in my last tip video if you didn't see it, for getting, for moving up the ladder is to get kills. You need to be getting kills. It is the fastest, by far the fastest and easiest way to rank up. If you get two kills in silver, that automatically puts you positive for the match. So if you see for silver, when you're trying to, when you play, you start with negative 12. So two kills, that already puts you at plus eight. And then if you make it up to top 10 or above, then you're gonna be plus 20, 18. Anyways, I'm not good at math, but you need to be going for kills. Not only does kills help you rank up faster, but it also helps you learn how to gunfight. And you need to know how to gunfight because if you're just sitting on the outside of the map and then you're ranking up slowly by just sitting on the edges and getting in circle and hiding, as soon as you get into gold, silver, plat, or gold, platinum, diamond, these higher ranked, when you're going to gunfight people, you're not gonna be able to win a gunfight and it's just not gonna be good. So you need to be challenging people you need to be third partying people. You need to always be paying attention to where people are. The only time I would say you don't need a challenge is if you already have two or three kills, um, then I would just rotate to the next ring. If you're Bloodhound, make sure you hit those recon beacons, know where the next ring is and get set up for the final battle because five is the maxed kills you can get per points 
for a ranked match. And that's just going to make sure that you get those last two in the final battle. You're going to have max points and you're just going to be soaring through silver. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed these tips. Hopefully they help you guys out. Let me know down below what rank you are, what you're struggling with, what uh, you're seeing in your games. I'd love to comment. I'm super active. I respond to pretty much every single comment. And if you haven't already, like I said, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the how to get from gold to platinum video that will be coming out in the hopefully as soon as possible but anyways guys this is brutalitops thank you all for watching uh make oh also make sure to hit my twitch down below so you can come join us when we're streaming live and uh we'll see you in the next one peace Back with another video